latest on Cyclone Herald, which is slightly stronger this evening than it was earlier today. Still a Category 1 on the Sappho Simpson scale. An eye quite clear there right now, and it's currently at 15.2 south, 52 degrees east, moving generally in an east or east southeasterly direction at about 7 miles per hour. There it is right now. It's estimated pressure 975 millibars, uh, a Category 1 on the Sappho Simpson scale as of 7 p.m. Mauritius time this evening. So moving away slightly from Madagascar, uh, we're still looking at Port Louis on the CDPS scale. The risk for Mauritius appears to be dropping ever so slightly, uh, but still a stage two on the CDPS and deviations in the track could still occur. It is still moving slowly, but we are starting to get a better handle of where it's going to go now. The wind field uh, still around the same as what it's been recently, the uh, largest area in the northeast. Um, and again, a look at its position there. It's currently 118 miles from Antalaha in Madagascar, so drawing further away there at last. 390 from the capital, Antananarivo. 491 from Port Louis, Mauritius. Mauritius, of course, now under a Class 1 warning. That's been in effect since early this morning, 804 miles from Rodrigues. There's the Mateo France track forecast at the top left there, and you can see how all of those intensity estimates compare. Uh, Mateo France still going with about 70 mile per hour winds. ADT, the Dvorak, uh, going at different ends there, on depending on who you go with, SSEC and NOAA, between 57 knots and 77 knots. Here's the forecast track, the uh, cone of uncertainty again. You can see Mauritius is just about out of that now, but don't forget the center of this storm could still pass anywhere within that cone. We're still expecting gale force winds in Mauritius and also on Rodrigues, and hurricane force winds are possible on the latter of those islands, passing its closest to uh, Rodrigues on day two. Here's what we're expecting from the GFS. This is what it's putting out right now, and it is still a fine line. You can see the southern side of the storm has a very sudden drop-off. Um, so if the storm does pass further south than expected, again, we could be seeing the onslaught of the southern side of this storm for the island of Mauritius. Again, look at it go by there really close, uh, but not quite reaching the island. Rodrigue's getting a little bit more, but still rainfall amounts as it stands right now will probably not be more than about 25 to 50 millimeters on either of the islands. Uh, of course, that could still change. Sea surface temperatures underneath the storm are still very warm at this point. It is upwelling a little bit right now, uh, but as it does move on towards the east, sea surface temperatures still around 28 degrees Celsius. That's 82 Fahrenheit there on that map. And here is the forecast there, the yellows showing hurricane force winds. And you can see there the green tropical storm force winds just about reaching both of those islands. But the strongest of the winds look to appear to remain offshore by quite some distance. Uh, we're still looking at a category three peak, uh, although the JTWC have backed off that just a little bit down to 95 knots. And uh, that window to reach that status is dropping, as you can see here. HWRF going for a Category 3 peak and a very short peak. CTCX even into Category 4 range. Wind shear, though, is uh, actually still trending upwards. They're still expecting it to be higher than what they said last time, starting almost immediately. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Sea surface temperatures remaining very warm, relative humidity not too bad. Uh, but at the moment, it does appear as though the storm's intensity forecast might be trending downwards. So here's a look at the infrared imagery. You can see that eye is starting to develop a little bit better. It was looking very ropey earlier today, but it is starting to take better shape now as we enter the evening hours, the eye clearing out a little bit. The eye wall is still very ragged, um, and that will probably continue for some time. It may indeed be ragged for its whole life. Um, but the convection around the eye is looking pretty good, some minus 80s there on the northern side and we'll see whether that maintains and wraps around the whole of the storm and that will really show a sign of intensification. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us of course on our YouTube channel, search Force 13 and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash Force 13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.